Hello. Oh, one second. oh my god. Add, can we? Uh, today we're gonna do the drawing tutorial. I'm pretty sure it's heads and ears. So, how I draw heads is circle. Oop. And then I go in, I skip plus for the face and I'm not really doing snouts very often so one second <sighs> sorry and now I sketch the nose it's, it's kind of just normally like that and then I sketch the mouth. So really easy. Simple. I think I'm gonna make an OC. Anyway. Now the eyes. The style of eyes I've been doing is kind of this crescent almond shape. I like almonds. No, I'm getting off track. But yeah, kind of this. This is how. This is why my drawings take like five hours. <laughs> so no matter what Ibis says, it's taking so long because I take so long just on the eyes. Oh my god. This is why if you ever get art from me, you should appreciate it because I spent way too long on it. <laughs> and we do the eye, eye, the eye sheen. You can. You can do your eyes however you want. Eyes are very stylized. I love eyes. Like, you know, eyes are the part of this whole. And then there are multiple different types of eyebrows. My favorite are the little dots. My OC, not not OC, for Sona, Koi has like dots, but they're second pair of eyes, so they have little eyelashes. And but obviously. Not every OC is going to have those, so you can either have normal dots, lines, or just no eyebrows, because that's always cool. I think we're just going to do no eyebrows. We're just going to do lines for this person. This little kitty. Now, <laughs> the hair thing, the top fur. I always hate doing this part, especially when they have that, like, spiky hair. I always hate that hair for the top. That's why all my characters have, like, stylized versions. Plus, it just makes them more unique, so. I think for this, I'm going to go with, the, like, yeah, you can have lots of styles. You can have that, you can have emo. You can have this too. I like, I think we're gonna add that for this. Obviously, you don't need to do it exactly like me, but yeah. I think the basic is like this. Yeah. And then the. Oh my god. Goldie, you kidding me? Kitty's trying to lick me. No! I don't like it when you lick me. Oh my god, I'm getting off track. Okay, stop. No. You're ruining this. Ah! Mm. Okay, we're just gonna have to continue. Don't lick me. Thank you. Don't drool on me either. I said don't lick me. Oh my god, sorry. Cats, man. Oh my god. You might. Alright. Cheek fur. Oh my mother. I'm trying, not, I'm trying to make this PG. No, nothing I really do is PG. That's, that's a lie. <laughs> Uh, cheek fur comes in lots of- oh. Stop it. Your nose is wet, it's cold, and I don't like cold. Actually, I do. That's different, though. I'm gonna get a drink. Anyway, there's down fur, there's curvy fur, there's boom fur- <laughs> There's just the normal casual fur. Oh my god. I know. Okay. You better not move. 
I may be part blind, I, but I can still see you. Okay, anyway. Cheek fur is really cool, I'm not sure. I typically have it on this area, the right, right there, but obviously you can have it anywhere you'd like, just, I mean, it still has to be on the relative side of the face's face. And you know, neck. I don't, I used to draw lines for the necks, but now I kind of just immediately come and draw the basic shape. Now, one thing I've hated is either skinny necks, like that, like that's actual art styles people have, but I've also hated thick necks, like that. I hate it even when they're wearing a collar, like just make it normal. Your character should have a pretty decent sized leg. Your, or, it should have a pretty decent neck, okay? It shouldn't be wide, but that's not wide. It shouldn't be long, we don't want to make them a giraffe. It shouldn't be skinny, it's like they're going to break their neck. And it shouldn't be so wide. Let's draw some shoulders. Now the ears, the other part of this tutorial. We're just going to draw basic ears, and then we'll get into more detail on the ears. So I'm not really going to describe it. Alrighty then. That's kind of it for the head. And obviously you can come in, add whatever you'd like. Eyelashes. Multiple different types of eyelashes. You can do big, wild, crazy eyelashes. You can do small, you can do small gentle eyelashes. Or you can just do little dots like that. Or just no eyelashes, you know. That's kind of it for eyelashes. So, uh, and then, I'm gonna add some eyelashes here. Okay. Uh, and then, sometimes I add snouts, sometimes I don't. I'm still going through that phase trying to find out whether I want snouts or not. I think I'm not going to really add snouts. Add fur, floof, all that things. There's lots of different types of floof that looked like a butt. We're not going to think about that. We're going to add other floof. Yeah, anyway. Now time for ears. Ears are really experimental. You can experiment in lots of different ways. So you can do basic ears. You can do the basics. Spoop. And one way I add this is I go, I kind of add a curve, like it's not straight, it has a curve. Now you can do this, you can just keep it like that, or you can even do this, and then do that. So you can have like a little inside ear flush skin. Oh my god, you're back. Stop meowing, I'm trying to film a YouTube video. Okay, so... Oh no, she's coming over here. Alright, sorry. <laughs> My house is crazy. I'm filming at this at 8, so I specifically didn't have to deal with the craziness. But here you are, Goldie. And the ear fur... Stop. Okay. The ear fur... Okay, there's the ins... Oh my god, sorry. Ugh, this is terrible. Okay. The inside ear fur is like that. And then you have the down... I don't know. Eh. And then there's... <gasps> okay, there's also... You can do this. You can do this type of fur at the beginning of the ear. You can obviously do ear tufts. Any kind. And... And like that. That actually looks really cool. And you can even like um like that that's cool more like that yeah that's nice and then so yeah it's really easy you can have them be as long 
very small, as chunky, or as thin as you want. Draw a basic ear. They're basic in my standards of art. And now, let's go down here and try and draw other types of ears. Nope, can't do that. Um, another type of ear are folded ears. And so, hold on. Never mind. Never mind. One way I make folded ears is typically on the sketch, I'll do this. And then I actually add all the fluff and make it look better and whatnot. Anyway, so yeah, you can do that. Uh, so, you start out with the fluff. Haha. -ha. <laughs> and then you go, whoop. And you can add some floof, or you can add like that. And then you come and you go, wow. And then you can either continue back, you can add some more floof, come back, you come back, and you can maybe add like that or something. I don't know. I don't know. And another, and then on the other side, I used to do it just like that, but now I do it like this, where it comes around, oop, and then go like that, and then the uh, head fur would be like this. It's basically so. Basically. And obviously there are other types of folded ears. But we're going to keep it at that. Actually, we're going to just redo all that. And you can obviously draw the eyes right there. Oh, God. You can obviously draw those eyes. <sighs> draw a little, draw a little ear right there. What? What are you doing? Do, do you hear this? Do you hear this cat? Do you hear this kitty? What you doing? You chilling? You taking my pillow? Alright, anyway. So, let's draw another circle. Let's do bunny ears. Obviously, there's bunny, and then there's rabbit. Bunnies are... Okay, let's start with rabbits. Rabbits have, like, the upwards ears. Stop looking at me. I'm saying nothing that would cause you to look at me. But yeah, they have those long upwards ears. I personally hate them. My friend actually only draws those when she... I draw them like this. We're gonna completely skip that topic. I draw them kind of like this. Not that I, whenever I do draw them. I just find it easier re re really. And it honestly just looks better too. And then there's the bunny ears, which are like those floppy ones. Like a Millie Chan, or I don't know. Basically when you think of bunny or rabbit ears, you think of those floppy ones. There are multiple ways you can go at them. What am I doing this for? I typically do it like that, and then that, boop, and then you go boop. Then obviously you can do something like this, where it's like the ear folds. You can do something like that, you can do like this to where it kind of interacts with the face. Personally I do, like I did earlier, I do this because it's just kind of better. I'm not saying, if you do something else, it's obviously fine. This is for if you want to draw like me. Do the other ear. Yeah. What, what do I have for YouTube? Oh, chip. Wow. Real doing, doing real great. Okay, anyway. Okay, nope. Alright. Okay, now, let's, what are you doing? This kitty is just, oh my god. Now, there are obviously lots of ears. I even have some of my own ears. There are lots of ears out there. These are the basic ones, but there are also, like, um, those 
I don't, I can't draw them. <laughs> like this ear. That kind of lion ear, basically. That's actually, that was actually done really flawlessly. Yeah, this kind of ear. This guy has some head floof to them. Head floof. So you can get a feel for it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's cool. Now let's look at some of my personal ears I draw. Oh god, it's been seven minutes. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry this is a long video. We're actually just gonna end it right here. Um